Any questions? Uh, President, can we ask you, um, uh, John Schneider, in some of his interviews that he's done uh, since the, the name has been taken off, Papa John's has said that um, he was told that it was going to be thinking it over over the weekend that he did not know that was going to happen until the media found out about it. Um, can you address that? Sure. Uh, I had an opportunity to talk to uh, Mr. Schnatter Thursday evening and Friday morning briefly. We had talked about it, and he ha you know, indicated that it was in flux, and yes, he had asked for more time. And then once we had made the decision, no, no promises were made that that would be possible, obviously. And then when I made the final decision, tried to reach him again and texted that our decision was made. So there was never a phone call to him that said, Mr. Yes. Schnatter, this is coming down. This is the decision that's made. There was. He, when we spoke to you, you said, I spoke with him. I told him this was the decision that was being made. Mm -hmm. He is saying, he sat down in an interview with us, and he's saying, I never got a phone call that said the decision was made. I got a phone call that said, this is a conversation that's happening and may go through the weekend. Can you just kind of clarify the timeline? Sure. Thank you. Um, so it's, it's as I said. I talked to him on Thursday and as did Vince, and we talked about this was an ongoing discussion. I talked to him again on Friday morning, and this was a discussion. And at that point, I think there was some confusion in the questions on uh, his agreement to taking his name off the business school versus the stadium. And if you go back and look at it, I think you'll find that. So on Friday morning, we talked again about taking the name off of the stadium. And at the time, I called he didn't call back, left a message, texted him, and that's when I ended up talking to his, um, the lead independent director, the current CEO, as well as the chair of their governing body uh, to share the decision. And that was Friday morning? Yeah. What has the feedback been like since the decision? Um, I would say that uh, this is not a happy thing for anybody, clearly, but a, lo a lot of people have expressed support for the decision we have made. Vince, what has this been like from an athletics department side? What have you heard from coaches in the department? What have you heard from student athletes at the university? What, where is everyone, you know, where's their head at? Well, I think, you know, some of the athletes express their concern right away. And, and I wasn't certainly looking to dispel that or, or to stop them from voicing their concern. I just wanted to make sure they were clear that the administration was involved and would handle it to the, what's the, in the best interest of the school. So that was the only thing I conveyed to them, conveyed to Bobby. You know, I talked to Coach Petrino Thursday morning after I'd spoken to John. And, uh, and I think we've done that. I think they showed that faith and, and everything worked out as they probably expected. But the coaches have been supportive. Um, you know, talking to Chris Mack and uh, Jeff Walls, I think, uh, as well, that uh, they've been supportive of where we are. Has Mr. Schnatter brought any kind of legal action forward to the university? Is that a conversation that's been had regarding the contract for the naming rights? No. No. He said he'd like to apologize to <clears throat> our players himself in person. Is that something you guys would be willing to let him do? Well, I think at this time, I, I want the players to kind of heal a little bit. I think that uh, trying to rush to something right now, and particularly as some of those facts are being sorted out, it's, it's a little difficult to do that. I certainly understand, and, and speaking to John, and, and uh, you know, he is, he's obviously concerned uh, about what happened and obviously disappointed himself and, and doesn't. The last thing he wanted to be was a distraction here more than we've, we've already had. So I think he feels, he felt bad about that to the players. He expressed that to me and to, and to the coaches. Um, but I, I think right now the best thing is just let that part of it heal. And, and uh, I know the players seem like they're in a good place and we'll get back to focusing on Alabama. Vince, he said on the radio that he uh, was hoping to or looking to um, so make a donation toward the baseball program, toward the renovation yes. of the stadium. Will you, are, you in con are you in contact with him on that? Will you accept that? Well, I was in contact with him. He had a big interest in it. He was mm -hmm. looking at, uh, he, you know, he, he loves the sport. Uh, he talked about Jeffersonville High School and what was going on there. I certainly invited him to, to come over and see what we were doing. So Coach McDonald and I met with, uh, met with John. We showed him what our long-term view of, of things. And he, frankly, he had some good ideas. And I think he gained a lot of his interest in what we were doing. And uh, I think he's just uh, was unfortunately trying to get back in a place where he was comfortable and mm -hmm. felt comfortable here. And uh, that might have been a project that he would have been interested in. I don't know where his interest is today. Okay. Would you accept more contributions from him on baseball or football or anything? Or yeah, I, th I think that's something we need to think about. I, I think that uh, he's been a terrific supporter of all of our sports for a long time, not just the football program, but many sports. He's our largest donor to the athletic program. 
and we've enjoyed that. And it's, uh, you know, Owsley, Frazier, and others, and we're not looking to lose those donors. We'd certainly like to have them, but I think there is a, a point where you just need to be careful about mm -hmm. what we're doing, and that's a conversation that uh, is only worth having if John wanted to have it at this point. I, I think we're, we're just trying to sort out our projects and where there'd be space. Is there any timeline on the removal of the signage at this point? Has that been established yet? Yeah, I think we're working on that today. As you can imagine, uh, most of those suppliers or vendors were off this weekend, so we weren't able to get a timeline, but we're, we're doing that today. Uh, I was working with our guys yesterday just uh, making sure we're w uh, well aware of where, just taking inventory of where the signage is, and then going out and making sure we can get a cost and a timeline, but I, uh, our plan would obviously be to have it removed before the first home game. On your softball coach, Holly April, what did you like about her resume, and, and uh, what was your what, what yeah. made her the best candidate? Well, I liked a lot about her resume as a player as well. I mean, she was a terrific player, and uh, playing for the U.S. team, and and uh, was a you know played in the College World Series, which is, speaks a lot. I'm envious of that. And uh, and then as a coach, she's done a terrific job, built a program, uh, probably on less resources than we have here to offer her, and I think that's exciting. Uh, with her top assistant being from Kentucky, this area, Griffin Joyner, uh, that's valuable to us in our recruiting to get back in this Midwest and, and really keep the home players here. I think that says a lot. And then just in our own conference to be competitive right away and, and that it cuts down on the scouting when you've been the ACC Coach of the Year in this conference just last year and winning the Coastal Division. So bringing that to our team, I know our players are really excited. I can speak for you know, some of the donors as well and supporters and alumni, that there's a lot of excitement in the program today. To, to hire a, a sitting head coach from in the same conference at another school, that's, you, you consider that a pretty significant win considering how, you know, where, where she's made that pro, where she's built that program and getting her to come over here? Well, I think so. I hope you do too. <laughs> uh, no, I, I do. I, in all fairness, uh, you know, to be able to go get the, you know, coach of the year, I think says a lot. And I, it is in the conference. And while sometimes that may seem a little uncomfortable, I'm, I'm competitive. I want to win. And mm -hmm. they have something we wanted, and we went out and got her. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.